Hi guys, so it's gonna seem like I'm starting the video all over in this next clip. But I forgot to mention this part about my hair. Um, so basically, this is gonna be a video about how I do my curls on wash day. So basically, this is what I do all night until it dries or I blow dry, which I'm probably about to go blow dry because it's getting pretty annoying trying to keep it in shape. So when I'm in the shower, I go ahead and I take my purple shampoo for this blonde part of it. So I'm trying to get it blonder and blonder. And usually I would just do my roots back when my hair is one color. But because it's this two-tone now, I go ahead and take my purple shampoo, put it all over my head because I've also noticed it helps keep my black black. So I take my purple shampoo to my head and I leave that on for five, ten minutes in the shower. And then I rinse that out and then I put in my hair mask. And I leave that in for five, ten minutes, rinse that out, put in a conditioner that has oil in it. Leave that in for five minutes, ten minutes, rinse it out. And then sometimes... Usually, I put in a cheaper conditioner just to top it off, leave that in for like a minute or two, and then rinse. So yeah, that's how that actually, how my wash goes. I'm actually going to go and blow dry and then come back, and that's our completed video, but here's how I get to this point. Okay, so this is going to be how I do my hair after my showers so i already put my mousse in it i put my tangler spray in it and i put in two it's a 10 products one's a silk leave-in and then one's a um 10 and one leave-in so most people that you watch will tell you oh don't um put your hair up in a towel let it be sopping wet when you do your hair then that's not me So what I do is I take my towel and I start to scrunch. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite products. So this is my, it's not your mother's, all eyes on me. It is a 10 in one hair perfector. It has heat protectant in it. And it's very nurturing to the hair. And then I take my towel again, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Did something I shouldn't have. Like what, Dad? If I violate my parole, they'll send me back inside. I don't want to go back. That's why okay, I'm going to put back over to the side, and I'm going to use my S curl no drip, and it's from Lusters, and you get this actually at Dollar General, really cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna take my towel again. Scrunchy scrunch. Well, this baby didn't ask me to volunteer. How old is the kid? Five, so Billy never touched her. What about the mother? She confirmed Billy's story. Left at 8 30, got back to the apartment at half past 11. Could Billy have left the kid alone for an hour and then come back? Not a voice that Billy was with him the whole three hours. Okay, so your witness puts Billy outside the Morton home in Riverdale at 8 a.m. Billy's alibi puts him back on Avenue B. 
Okay, so at this point is when I either blow dry it or let it air dry. I think tonight I'm going to let it air dry because I don't want to put more heat on it than what I need to. And then as it dries, which this is another rule everybody says not to do, but I still do it. I take my hand and I just keep scrunching it until it dries periodically. Just make sure it stays nice and fluffy and big. But other than that, that's how I style my curly hair after shower. I just went ahead and blow dried it because I got impatient and got tired of continuously having to mess with it. I mean, it's still like just a little damp in some spots, but compared to having to sit there and do it on wet, wet, wet hair for like an hour or two or longer, actually, because my hair is pretty thick, it's a lot easier to just blow dry it most of the way through and then just continue to kind of play with it. So yeah, that's my curly hair routine. As you can see, I get big, voluptuous, wavy hair. Um, this is how I typically wear it. It's like this. So yeah. So, yeah.